Hey guys, Sonami Fan 180 here. Just wanted to let you all know real quick before the video starts that when I loaded up Audacity, I forgot to check to make sure it was recording my Blue Yeti microphone. Um, so after I finished recording the video, I noticed it wasn't recording my Blue Yeti microphone. It was recording my computer's microphone, like the microphone that's built into my computer's webcam. So, um, yeah, so unfortunately, you're all gonna have to deal with the crappy audio that comes from my computer's microphone. I'm sorry for that, but, uh, yeah, it's just something I forgot to look at. So I'm sorry for that, but, yeah. Anyways, let's continue on with the video. Hey guys, Sonomy Fan 180 here, and welcome back to Undertale. So, last time we befriended Papyrus, and now I have to go on a date with him. Uh, also, I don't really know what's going to happen with this date, because, well, um, some of you might be saying, didn't you say you've, uh, seen, like, didn't you say you've seen Jacksepticeye play Undertale before? Yes, I have, but I haven't seen all of them. I've only seen, uh, part one, part two... Uh, part 5, part 8, part 9, and part 10. So, yeah. Uh, nah, let's... Let's go and date Papyrus now. See, so, yeah, I have no idea what's gonna happen here because, well... So, you came to... Uh, ugh. So, you came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Let me guess, is it gonna be your house? Yep! My house! <laughs> How did I fucking know it was gonna be his house? The door is locked. Yeah, uh, I'm guessing this is Sans's room? Actually, it is Sans's room because I... I believe I actually hit, have seen a... I have seen a little bit of this part, uh, not Jack said the guy's played through, but someone else's played through. I think it was the Game Grumps, maybe. But yeah, so I remember what I do know what the inside of Papyrus and Sans's house looks like, and I believe this is supposed to be Sans's room. Although I never got to up to the date part, so yeah. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Rocks don't eat. They're inanimate objects. Uh, let's... It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! <laughs> oh, okay, that's hilarious. Um... Impressed? I increased the height of my sink! <laughs> now I can fit more bones under it! Take... Take a look-see! Oh, sorry. The annoying dog. What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! <laughs> Sans! Stop play- Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Just got an update on my computer- Well, not an update, but- Stop with the notifications, Windows 10, please! I'm trying to play a game and record a video of it. Mm. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. 
You got 20 gold. Oh, cool. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Sure. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, it's my favorite game show. Metaton. It says stay tuned for a new program. Um, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. <laughs> this is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Okay, so that was Metaton. Uh. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please pursue my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Why would Sans put chips in the fridge? That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. Isn't that just a donut? How absurd. A quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg so Isn't that just a donut? Or is it bread? Is it a donut or a bread? Is it a donut or bread? Because it sounds like both of them. Oh, right, the dog. Should I get it? There's an empty pie tin in the stove. Wait, inside the stove. Okay. Well, we've explored all around your house. Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. I already have. Oh, wait, what's this? A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones? Door is locked. Okay, let's go into your room, Papyrus. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and... Do whatever people do when they date? Please tell me it's not what I think it is. Go inside. Sure. So, this is your room. Why do these things look like FNAF? Nope, I'm not gonna draw that connection. No, thank you. Why is there no music? Those are all the attacks I used on you. Seriously? Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. It was five minutes ago! Well, in game time, it was five minutes ago! Even though it basically just happened. <laughs> yeah, even though it basically just happened. That's... Yeah. What's... Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? That's a pirate flag. Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. That's a pirate flag and humans have skeletons in them. But the skeletons aren't separate entities from humans. Yeah. Oh god. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. Okay. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Santa Claus? Yeah, that's right. Santa! <laughs> uh. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Okay. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. You don't have skin, you're a skeleton. Uh, computer. The internet! 
I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. You're a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Fuck. The first double-digit number is 10, and you're, a dozen is 12. So you're 12 away from having 10 followers. He has negative two followers? <laughs> How is that even possible? Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has uh, besieged my outline persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. I'm gonna guess it's Sans. I'm gonna guess it's your brother. Jeez, the lack of music is kind of creepy. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me, sometimes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Okay, so we've looked all around your room. So... So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Sure. Okay, dating start. Oh god, it's like a battle. I was wondering where this showed up. Well, I mean, it, now now that I think about it, it's kind of obvious. The name of the song is Dating Start. Da 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 da. That reminds me of Hopes and Dreams right there. The the song for the final boss. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Wednesday. HOLY SHIT! HOW THE f I'm recording this on Wednesday! Is that like part of the game where it's like... No, like whichever day you play this on it'll say that day at the top? Because the day I'm recording this on is a Wednesday! Jesus! Wowee! I feel so informed! I think we're ready for step two! Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem, human, I, the great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Chirp. Really? <laughs> really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That ribbon in your hair. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing! Jesus, what's with the music? No, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning? Um, sure. What the fuck did I do? No! You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. Nyeh. Nyeh. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. You are right now. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. And also, he said I'm, I've been wearing clothing from the very start. Of course I have. I'm wearing a shirt and shorts. Look, like, yep, yeah, 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 Frisk. She's wearing a shirt and shorts. Also, yes, I said she because in my head, Frisk is a girl. So, don't. So yeah, yeah. In my head, 
Frisk and Kara are girls. So, yeah. I always went. Oh, right, I already read that. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Cool dude! <laughs> Meh! What do you think of my secret style? Hmm. No! A genuine compliment? Jesus! <laughs> Please tell me I'm not screwing things up. I just lost connection to the internet. Like... Yeah, if you look down there, I just lost connection to the internet. Doesn't matter. None of the stuff I'm using requires the internet connection anyways. Like, my, my camera, uh, the game here, and, uh, like, bandy cam and my microphone, none of that requires internet, so I'm good. Oh, is it just my computer? It seems like it's just my computer. So hold on, I'm going to attempt to reconnect. Okay, I've reconnected. Yeah, okay, I've reconnected, so let, let's continue. I didn't need to do that anyways, but I uh, just thought it would be... Good to do it. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer? No, I must resist. My hat? My hat? My hat! <laughs> Why does he have a present under his hat? Uh, well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present j just for you. Uh, let's open it. Do you know what this is? Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh so wrong! This isn't any plain old pasta! Or this ain't any plain old pasta! This is an art artisan's work! Silken spaghetti, finely aged with an oaken cask! I have no idea what that means! Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus! Human, it's time to end this! Whoa! I just opened my menu! There's no way this can go any further. Take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking, and by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Ah! No! Please tell me I did good there. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, I. Is it hot in here, or is it just me? Uh oh, shoot. Human, I. I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But, alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. 
After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Papyrus, you are too self... Self... Oh, what's the fucking word? Self-centered. That's what I wanted to say. You were too self-centered. <laughs> oh, and if you even if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> okay, now that that's over with. Ow. Now it's time to head to Waterfall. Why is the... Oh. I was about to say, why is the... Th why is the screen getting like that again? Here we go into Waterfall. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. Hey, it's Monster Kid! Yo! Are you sneaking out to... Uh, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. God, it is hard to do Monster Kid's voice. It's even harder to... It's even harder than doing Flowey's voice. Hey! Don't tell my parents I'm here. Ha <laughs> This is an Echo Flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an Echo Flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Neat, huh? Neat, huh? Neat, huh? Neat, huh? Okay, that's enough. Okay, let's save here. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Hey, Sans. <laughs> what? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required bricks. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans! Hi, Sans! Greetings, Sans! Hiya, Sansie! Hey, Sans! Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? No, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? I'll take a burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Really? We'll have a double order of a of bird. So, what do you think of my brother? He's actually pretty cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well. At least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> That's hilarious. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Sh sure. Bon appetit. Tip the cap. The cap falls off and all the ketchup the bottle pours in. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm, a sp I'm not hungry anyways. He just scratches his ass! Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard, and begged her to let him be in it. He went to Undyne's house?! Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. He was stalking Undyne! Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. 
Oh yeah. I wanted to ask you something. Oh god. I'll write this. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Flowey. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, a virus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flowey. Flattery, advice, encouragement. You gotta tell Papyrus! He's... That flower... Is not... Like... That flower is deceiving him. And there goes my chair. Predictions. Weird, uh... Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. It was only two minutes! I can't believe I let you pull me away from work that are that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just- WHAT THE FUCK?! It's just 10,000 G. Yeah, just kidding. Ruby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Okay. Well, let's head back to Waterfall. Okay. Now we can continue into Waterfall. Finally. <laughs> Let's hang out again sometime. Here we go. Whoa, the rocks. Uh, sure. Nothing in the box, so... This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Okay. Oh, shit. Actually, let me... Yeah, the rocks try and push you down. What happens? Oh, yeah, they don't do anything down here. There's an echo flower here. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Alphys! Stop leaving your cameras all over the place! <gasps> what is this? There's a tutu lying on the ground here. You take it? Sure. I know what this is. Undyne. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Oh, jeez, the music's getting all creepy. Ah, uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier? Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes, of course I did. Uh, I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard on dying, but in the end, I failed. With what? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But I'm dying. You don't have to destroy them, you see? You see? I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh, shit.
Did she just teleport? Monster Kid! Yo! Did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! Oh god, what is with my voice? I'm so jealous! What did you do to get her attention? Wait, I missed that. Come on! Let's go watch her beat up some bad guys! <laughs> ah. Dun, 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 dun. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Dun, 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 dun. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Okay, so we need to take these and... Yeah, do that. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. Aaron flexes for contest. Okay, flex more. Whoa, Jesus! Actually, all I need to do is this. My body is ready. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to make that joke. Who flex harder? Aaron flexes thrice as hard! Nice! I won't lose, though! Ow! Bye, Aaron. Now, I'm pretty sure this sign over here is pointless, but I'm gonna do this anyways. Like, might be a waste of my time, but if... because... If I remember correct, yeah, if I remember correctly from uh, Jacksepticeye's playthrough, because I do remember the part where he got into Waterfall, um, it's like, I don't, I don't remember if it was, that was in the same, what am I trying to say? I don't remember if that was in the same video as the, uh, as the dating thing or not. All I know is I didn't see the dating thing. I, if it was, if. If him getting into Waterfall was in the same video, then I I guess I skipped it because I don't remember, like, I didn't remember anything about the dating thing if I had seen it. But yeah. Congratulations! You failed the puzzle! Yep, told you that sign was pointless. That resets everything, so... Crap. Oh! How the fuck did I miss that? Papyrus, how did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a faded ribbon. Is that true? Are you wearing a faded ribbon? So you are wearing a faded ribbon. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Undyne saw me. Oh, he's talking about Undyne. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes into the star, but wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Sis, make a wish. 
Bon choix. Oh shit. Thanks. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Look through the telescope. Sure. Check what? Check wall. What wall? Ah, oh, secret passage. What is down here? Nothing. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words, the war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they could take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. Fathomable. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. It's a drawing of Asriel, isn't it? Or is it... Is it Asriel or Kara? Or, well, in this case, John. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! Oh shit, no! I know what... Ah! Ah! Undyne! Fuck! 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 I'm down to one health! Oh shit! Shit, shit! Monster kid. Yo! Did you see that? That guy just touched me! I'm never washing my face again! Are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left! Yo! Don't worry! I'm sure we'll see her again! Monster Kid, do you not realize that I am the human? Squeak. Oh, because the mouse. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal fills you with determination. What's with the mouse things? Okay, in the ruins, it was knowing the mouse might one day get the cheese, it fills you with determination. In Snowden, it was knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it'll, it fills you with determination. And this one is knowing the mouse might one day find a way to extract the cheese from mystical crystal. What, what is with this mouse and th thing? This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Of course it is. Hello, Sans. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope. But since I know you, you could use it for free. How's about it? Sure. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna leave a mark on my eye.
Yep. Hello? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. I paid nothing! <laughs> oh, there's another box. Is there something in this box? No. Oh, I have the old tutu. What is this? What's well, a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? <laughs> but no, you can't. You can't touch a star. You can't eat a star. And you can't kill a star because a star is a ball of gas. If you try to do any of those three, it'll kill you most likely. Because it's a bright ball of gas. Hey, it's the nice cream guy. Why the fuck do I keep accidentally opening the menu? The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. You motherfucker. Why couldn't I move down? I relocated my store, but there is still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Ice cream. It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Now, just 25. Sure. Super. Here you go. The card's in the box. You get the ice cream. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to use a box. Yes. Let's put away the toy knife and the tough glove, because I won't need those. Snowman piece so I don't accidentally eat it. And, uh... Let's put away the punch card. Okay, let's buy one more ice cream. Actually, do I have enough room to put the other punch card back in? Yes, I do. Let's go get a free night. But I have to... I, I have to... Let's put the bandage in. Okay, so uh, after that pointless side venture, let's go in here. Let's, uh, I don't need any of that stuff, so. Ah! I think I should really be listening to these flowers. You hear a passing conversation. So. Don't you have any wishes to make? Mole Small! I've already encountered you, so I can spare you immediately. You hear a past conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Where's the next? Where's the next flower? The ballet shoes! Uh, for those of you who haven't played Undertale, the items I've found so far, not counting the tutu, all tie into something in, uh, in a later part of the game. So, like, the toy knife, the tough glove, and the ballet shoes, they all tie into something later in the game. That's for those of you who haven't played it. Um... For those of you who have played it, you most likely know what I'm talking about. Uh... 
Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already, and because of you knew and because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A faded ribbon. Because I knew, of course. After such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. That's why you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. I'm gonna have to change my clothes, aren't I? Let's put on the... Actually, let's... I never took away the stick! Can I put on the tutu? Yes, I can! Ha! I have the tutu and ballet shoes on now. I can't spare you yet, seriously? I think this is the next one. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. The power to take their souls is just a power that the humans feared. Onion Sand! Anime Onion. Hey there! Noticed you were here! I'm Onion Sad! What the fuck is that face? I'm Onion Sad! Onion Sad, you hear? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah! Me too! It's my big favorite! Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but. Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. What's... Why do you have a Temmy face? And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Shut up! Let's get... Hey! Hey there! That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time in Waterfall. Okay, thank you very much. Siren! Aaron? Northern room hides a great treasure. All oh, right, it's the piano puzzle. What? Yes! <laughs> yeah, I didn't even have to listen to the melody. Da, 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 da. I still want to play the piano, though. Actually, no, let's wait until I get inside. Oh, this is my favorite. That was seven, but okay. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? You're carrying too many dogs. Oh, okay. There's an annoying dog in here. You deploy the dog. The dog absorbs the artifact. 
God. Annoying dog. I'm gonna play some more of the piano. That's all I can play because it can't go higher than this note. So that's all I can play. But still. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power will be, would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. Yep, right here. Let's take the umbrella. Let's take the umbrella and give it to this. Here comes one of my favorite songs of the soundtrack. It shows you right there which button to press. One of my favorite songs in the soundtrack. Well, out of the calmer songs. And now it's raining, so I'm gonna take an umbrella. I'm gonna take another umbrella. Yeah, because now it's starting to rain, so. Hello, Monster Kid. Yo! You got the umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! Why are you following me? Man! Armdine is so cool! She meets up bad guys and never loses! If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night! Knowing she was gonna beat me up! <laughs> but I'm a human. In real life and in the game. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Einstein came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Why would she... <laughs> Never mind. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. I'm an innocent person. There's the castle. And that's where I'm headed. Hey, wait up! I just way too steep. Yo, you want to see I'm dying, right? Climb on my shoulders. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll always find a way to get through. But you don't have arms. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, 
and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Jeez. Oh! And then it's gonna destroy the bridge. Run, run. Undyne, I don't like you right now. What is with this bridge maze? Oh god, is it just me or are they getting faster? Too fast for me! They're getting too fast! Isn't she supposed to... Here it is. <sighs> and here we get to learn about uh, what happened when Azriel found Kara. Sounds like it came from over here. Oh! You've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. John, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Okay. Well, I'm gonna end the video here because I'm running low on, uh... I'm running low on, uh, power on my camera. Uh, so... And space as well. So, thank you guys for watching. Remember, if you like this video, leave a like, share this with people you know, and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already for more great content. This is SonomyFan180, and I will see you next time. Roll the outro! Yo, man, allow me to tell you about some complex Feelings like the joy of fighting another pasta lover, the admiration for another puzzle solving skill, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. Don't ever want, I don't ever want.